In Creo Parametric, you can use the extend command to route pipelines in an assembly. In a previous video, I created this assembly with a skeleton model, which has reference geometry, and I also defined the line stock for the piping and the first pipeline. To get into the piping mode, we'll go to Applications and then Piping. And now I'm going to choose that I want to route a pipe. So I'll click on that. And I'm being prompted to select the pipeline that I want to route. I only have one, so I will select that one. The information in the lower left-hand corner of the graphics area has updated. Now I'm going to turn on my datum points so I can use one of those points as the start of my routing. But first, let me show you some of the different piping environment options. I will click on the environment command. And here at the top, we have a drop-down list where we can choose our corner type. I'm going to use a fitting at the corners because this is a pretty big assembly. Later on, I will change it. If you have more than one kind of pipe stock available, you can choose that. And also, if you had any flexible line stock, you'd be able to choose that as well. But anyhow, let's click the OK button out of the piping environment. Now, I will set the start point for my routing. And I'm going to zoom in to one of the points that I created in my skeleton. Be aware if you go to the selection filter, you can select the end of a pipe segment, a coordinate system, or a pipe segment itself. Let's choose the datum point over here. Then I will click the OK button out of the start point dialog box. And in the model tree, you will see that we have a pipe set start feature. To start routing my pipeline, I will use the extend command. And this opens up a dialog box. There is a default routing coordinate system that is created for you. And if you take a look in the graphics area, you can see that we have a coordinate system that's showing our X, Y, and Z directions for routing. There is a drop down list here with four choices. You have two coordinates or a long coordinate system axis that you can select. Two of the other options are grayed out. According to the help information, in order to use either of those two grayed out options, it requires a free end or start that is not on a coordinate system. Well, that is not exactly true. From what I can gather, there was a user interface change in Wildfire 5.0 where these two options just are not available anymore. But anyhow, let's leave the default of two coordinates. You can choose what kind of coordinate system that you want to use, whether it is the default Cartesian or spherical coordinates or cylindrical coordinates. You can see how the coordinates update inside of here. Let's go back to Cartesian regular X, Y, and Z. And then there's a drop down list where you can choose relative or absolute. I'm going to leave it at relative. Now for routing, you can just grab along on the axes and start dragging out how long you want it to be. And so this is good for the first one. Let me double click on the dimension in order to change it right in the graphics area. You can also change it right in here. Now I'm happy with that first one, but I want to do some more extend operations. So I will click the apply button out of here. You can see a preview of the thick pipe that would be generated from this one. And so for the next one, I want to drag it along in this direction. And I'm going to use a value of 2000 for that one. Let me type in the value. I'm just picking some numbers to make sure that I am avoiding my skid assembly. So that's good for that one as well. Let's click the apply button once more. And this time I'm going to change the option from two coordinates to along a coordinate system axis. Basically allows you to choose whether you want to route along X, Y, or Z. I'm going to then do it along the X axis. Let's go sideways. And you can drag it out in either of the directions. You'll notice that when I go in this direction, it ends up being negative. But in the positive x direction, let's go with a value of 1800. And instead of defining a length, there's a drop down list where one of the other options here is offset from reference. So let's apply the one that we just did. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. In the previous video, I did create a datum plane in the model for the 
height of the top flange. So now in the Y direction, I'm going to choose offset from reference and pick as my reference. I'll use this particular datum plane and it shows right now I'm offset just over 6,000 from that distance. I want to go all the way to that plane. So I'm going to change the offset from that value to zero. And I am happy with this one. Let me click the OK button. I just want to show you that you can get out of the dialog box and then you can get back in if you want to continue routing. But let's take a look at using something other than the route coordinate system that's provided to us. If you go to the selection filter, you can see that you have a whole variety of different things that you can choose. Let's take a look at a coordinate system first. And I'll just grab the assembly default coordinate system right out of the model tree. Once again, we have the options for two coordinates or along the coordinate system axis. If you want to go back to using that default routing coordinate system, you can just check that box right there. But let's go along coordinate system axis. And in this case, I want to go along the Z axis and I want to go all the way to a coordinate system. Let me unclutter the screen by turning off the display of the planes, turning off the display of the points. Let's turn on a coordinate system. And for Z axis, offset from reference, I will pick that coordinate system and change that value to zero. So it is going exactly along in order to make the turn into that pipe. Let's click the OK button. And then to finish off this one, I'm going to use the two point or port command. And then I'll choose that coordinate system that I had selected before and click the OK button. And now we have our first pipeline routed in here. So let's take a look at routing some more stuff. I'm going to create a, another pipe and let's just call this A-002 and hit the enter key. And I will choose the only line stock that I have available to me. Let's go to our environment. I'm going to change the corner type from fitting to bend just so you can see how that looks once I start routing these different entities. Oops, let's go back to the environment. One thing I want to change is the bend radius because with a 150 diameter, hey, let's use a bend radius of 150. Okay, that is good for that. Now let me turn on my datum point display and I can turn off my coordinate system display so that I can set my start point. And let's go to the next one over and pick that point and click the OK button. So now I have another set start feature in the model tree. Let's take a look at some of the other different geometry references that you can use for the extend command. I'll click on extend and instead of using that coordinate system I had previously selected, let's pick this surface on the flange and I'll grab it and start dragging it. You can see how the length value changes. Let me try picking this surface instead. This surface has a different surface normal, so you can see that the positive value is going downward. And if I drag it upwards, we're going to end up with an actually a negative value inside of here. And so for this one, I want it to go up and I want it to be a little higher than this one over there. So let's choose a value of negative 2000. And hit the enter key. That's good for that one. Let's hit the apply button. And alternatively, instead of using a surface, I could use a datum plane. So for example, here we have the choices. And uh, if I just leave it here as surface, I could restrict myself to surfaces and planes. I'm just going to change it back to all. And for this one, let's say I try oh, maybe ASM front. Oh, uh, yeah, that's actually the one that I want to use. Even though my datum planes were hidden, I was able to pick it right out of the model tree. Let's go to the dimension options drop down list. Since I'm using that plane as a reference, you'll notice that I have a whole bunch more options in here like offset, offset from reference, offset edge, and stop at. But I'll just use the regular length and then let's drag it over here. And I'm going to use a value of 3300. And that's good for that particular segment. 
let's hit the apply button. And for the next one, I'm going to use the point option. So I'm going to select as a reference, a datum point. So let's say that I pick the point that I use as the start point as my reference. We have our ability to drag and you can see that's going along a vector. And in this particular situation, it's basically going along a vector from your current start point to the point that you selected. If I change the point that I'm using, maybe I'll use this point over here. You'll notice how the vector changes, but again, it's going to go through that point that I selected. But I don't want to use a point as the reference. Let's take a look at some other different options. If I choose an edge as a reference, well, we can click and it will be dragging parallel to the selected edge. Similarly, if you pick a datum axis, it'll do the same thing. Let me turn off my point display, turn on my axis display. And for the reference, I've got a really small datum axis here in the model. Let me use my selection filter this time just because I'm having trouble picking it. That way I can just restrict my selection to that particular axis. And when I drag, once again, it is going to be parallel to that axis. But for this one, let's take a look at using an actual segment instead. Let me change the selection filter to all, and then I can just pick this segment from the first pipeline, and it would be using that as a direction reference. Once more, let me use that datum plane to drive the length of this feature. I'll change to offset from reference, and then pick that particular plane. And I want it going all the way to that plane, so let's change the offset to zero and click the OK button. So there you have it. Those are the different ways of using the extend command in order to route pipelines in your assembly.